Courtesy of the work of Yala and the laws that have been passed by Yala, you don't require a visa to move within the eight member states. Some of our member states have allowed free movement of people using identity card, national identity card. There is moving free movement of goods. You now enjoy the East African passport. It's not the Kenya passport, it's not the Uganda passport, courtesy of the work of year. Of course, there are a lot of challenges with trade. And all of us recognize that there are challenges on the Kenyan side, on the Ugandan side, on the Tanzanian side, on every single border. <coughs> And don't expect that these challenges will be solved overnight. It took the European Union more than 50 years to solve a lot of these problems, and we are trying very hard to make sure that it doesn't take us 50 years to achieve the same. But what I can assure you is that in the last four or five years, uh, we have managed to knock out 590 non-tariff barriers, and the effort is continuing. This is not something that we can solve in one year. It's an ongoing thing. The assembly is also putting across a new bill to try and standardize the standards across East Africa. So that is also coming. So my recommendation is that don't, don't look at the negatives. Look at the positives. There are a lot of uh, non-tariff barriers that have been removed. There's a lot more communication. There are a lot of problems that are solved immediately at the borders rather than waiting until they escalate. And we're confident that the East African community is heading in the right direction. Our work is based on the effectiveness of partner state institutions. So we work with the different partner states. That is why, for example, we are at different levels of our integration. If you assess the levels of our integration, you see that they are different from one partner state to the other. Mm -hmm. And that is essentially because we have different institutional frameworks and different uh, e efficiency levels in our different partner states. So, it is unfair to say that the assembly is doing nothing. Because, in as far as we are concerned, our work is to ensure that we do the oversight, bring it, uh, prepare reports, present it to the to, to, to council of ministers, and allow the council of ministers to escalate it because it's the council of ministers that has the support institutions to implement the resolutions of the assembly.